We added and subtracted functions, and now we're going to multiply and divide functions. So first we're going to multiply a function. So we got f of x equals x squared minus 7x plus 2, and g of x equals x plus 4. Find each function, and the first one here we're multiplying f times g of x. Well, we're just going to simply multiply those. And these I do prefer to do horizontally rather than vertically. And so let's see. I got x squared minus 7x plus 2. And we're going to multiply that by x plus 4. Well, let's see. I'm going to take x squared and multiply it times x. So I got x cubed. I went right here to here. Now I'm going x squared to 4. So x squared times positive 4 is plus 4x. And then we're going to take negative 7x times x. Well, that's going to be negative 7. Excuse me, this is 4x squared, not 4x. 4x squared. x squared times 4 is 4x squared. Negative 7 times negative 7x times x is negative 7x squared. And then negative 7 times positive 4 is negative 28x. And then we're going to do 2. 2 times x is plus 2x. And 2 times 4 is positive 8. And now I need to combine like terms. So let's see. Well, I've got an x cubed. And then I've got uh, plus 4x squared minus 7x squared. And that's going, so that's going to be negative 3x squared. And then we got uh, negative 28x plus 2x. And that's going to end up being negative 26x. And then a plus 8. And so f times g of x equals, in this case, given what f of x is and g of x is, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 26x plus 8. Now, what do you say we divide two functions? And so we have the same functions for f of x and g of x. We got x squared minus 7x plus 2, and we're going to divide that by x plus 4. So well, let's see. Well, I got f divided by g. So we got x squared minus 7x plus 2 divided by x plus 4. Four. Now, two things I want to kind of pay attention to here when I'm dividing this, I've got a radical function. The first is, since I've got a function in the denominator, I can't divide by zero. That would be undefined. So when x is equal negative 4, so negative 4 plus 4 would be zero, I've got to say here that x cannot equal negative 4. Also, I want to look at the numerator and the denominator to see, do I have a common factor at all? Uh, and in this case, I do not, because if I were to try to uh, factor x squared minus 7x plus 2, I'd have to use a quadratic formula or something, and I'm not going to end up with x plus 4 as one of my factors. So this is the division of f divided by g of x, and it equals x squared minus 7x plus 2 over x plus 4, where x cannot equal 4.